What's up, Storm fans? Brian Cook here, and today we are playing Magic Online user, or really legacy community member, Jax's Turbo Smog deck. If you're unfamiliar with Jax, they create a ton of sweet legacy brew combo decks. It's just what they do, and this is another one of those. So the idea is that we want to combine Witherbloom Apprentice. Come on, zoom in for me, please. There we go, I did it. Are you proud? Uh, so we want to combine this Witherbloom Apprentice along with, whoops, Chain of Smog. So the way that it works is Witherbloom Apprentice has Magecraft, which is whenever you cast or copy a spell, each uh, that's how Magecraft works. And then with this specific card, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Well, when you have Chain of Smog, you can create infinite copies by targeting yourself over and over, and eventually you'll, you'll run out of cards in hand, but you could still just copy it as many times as you want. So you can make your opponent lose infinite life and you gain infinite life. That's how this combo works. And the entire deck is based around these this interaction. So we have cards like Brainstorm, Ponder, Preordain for Consistency. Same thing with the Summoner's Pact. It not only gets Witherbloom Apprentice, but it also gets Sylvan Safekeeper to protect your combo or even Elvish Spirit Guide as Ramp. So we have some uh, consistency cards here. We have Acceleration between Dark Ritual and Lotus Petal, Protection Spells with Duress and Thoughtseize, Veil of Summer Protection, uh, Limdo's Vault for Consistency. This is probably the only card in the main deck that I'm a little iffy on. I'm not sure how good Limdo's Vault actually is, but I'm willing to trust Jax here and just assume that it's good. In the sideboard, we have things like Flusterstorm, Defense Grid, more copies of Sylvan Safekeeper to protect your combo, copies of Abrupt Decay, and Surgical Extraction for Interaction. I mean, this deck's pretty self-explanatory. Assemble A plus B and protect it. That's the game plan here today. I hope you enjoy the video. Once again, credit to Jax for this sweet, sweet deck. This deck list was just pulled directly off of Goldfish. We're going to play it as is. So I hope you enjoy the video today. Stick around and uh, let's smog some people. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to the first match. Our opponent won the die roll and has revealed a Yorian Sky Nomad. So we can make the assumption that they're mathematically most probably on death and taxes. That said, it could be a blue giant pile. You don't really know. We have ESG Veil of Summer, but that's not likely to be relevant against Yorian. We're a chain of smog away from this hand being a turn one win. One of my issues with this hand is that the mana sources aren't permanent, so if if I want to cast Limdol's Vault, I have to give up two permanent mana sources. I think you're actually just, you're just supposed to mulligan. And here we have a turn one, so we will keep this, and let's get rid of the Ponder, I guess. Who doesn't love a good old-fashioned turn one win? And I think secretly we might gain a little bit of equity today. Ooh, I was going to say we could gain some equity from our opponent... Uh, not realizing that we're a creature deck. So I could go off right now into Swords to Plowshares. That is something that I'm allowed to do. If I, if this was a green source, I'd play the Safekeeper here. So if they play Thalia next turn, it's kind of a problem. I'm not sure. I think we're supposed to just jam. Like, this isn't going to get better if I wait. So let's just do it. Chain of Smog targeting me. Do you have it? Ah, oh. That hurt. Okay. Now that was pretty brutal. Yep. Spirit of the Labyrinth. Well, I could have beaten that. Alright. Concede. Maybe I should have waited. I was so afraid of Thalia that I just ran into it. When your username is Bryant underscore Cook, people tend to mulligan for Thalia against you. Maybe I shouldn't have respected it so much. Let's bring in the Safekeepers, take out these Veil of Summers. We definitely want Abrupt Decay and Massacre. Uh, what to board out? 
Probably these... I mean, Duress is still decent. I think Limdil's Volt might be a little clunky in this matchup, so let's get rid of those. And... Preordain. Duress is still good for discarding Swords to Plosher, so we don't really want to get rid of those. It might seem a little bit odd that I'm boarding in Massacre and boarding out Limdol's Vault. I completely hear you. It's just, I think Limdol's Vault's really slow, even if it does find Massacre. We have 11 cantrips. We should be fine. Game two. The Yorian has been revealed again. No permanent mana sources here. I think we're just going to Mulligan. Ay ay ay. I think we're supposed to go to five. This hand just doesn't do the thing, so let's keep mulliganing. Jax, you're killing me here. Come on. So we, we've hit our first land. I guess we're going to keep this. It's not very good, though. Get rid of the Dark Ritual. Get rid of the Decay and Brainstorm. All right. I'm just going to blame Jax for all of my losses instead of my own play. It's just easier that way. Like, why criticize myself when I can blame someone else, right? Like, it's just uh, how being good at magic works. Never take responsibility for your own actions. Molly, or shuffle. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Planes into Mother Runes. Draw. Let's cast Preordain. Bottom both of these. Did not hit the land. This match is uh, looking pretty ugly right now. There's Thalia. Sure. Lotus Petal. Pass the turn. Skyclave. Yep. Brutal. All right, so we drew a green source. We can play out the Wither, Bro Wither Bloom. I think we want Trop. Black, green. Play the Apprentice. Pass the turn. Rashad and Port. Yep. Solitude. Goodbye, Wither Bloom. They have one card in hand, and we're taking four. I'm not liking my odds here. Draw. You got it. Safekeeper past the turn. Take four to ten. I guess my out here, how I realistically win this game is if I just rip the one of Massacre. Yep. Draw. Perfect. All right, so we'll block the spirit. Try to buy some time here. I'll go to six. Come on, massacre. Draw. Yep, draw. Not massacre. Even if I play Witherbloom here, I can't live. They just got me. So we are unfortunately starting this league off 0-1. Not the way that I saw this round going, but sometimes, it, you know, the game doesn't work the way you want it to. Four more rounds left. I'm sure we'll win all of them. You heard me right. All of them. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Match to another chance at redemption. We will keep this. This hand is just fine as both combo pieces and Something that we struggled to find last game. I'm talking about lands. So we have lands. I think the plan here is to just play it nice and slow. We use the Veil of Summer back up. Are we facing D? This can't be d and again, right? Let's play a Thought Season and find out. Dark Confidant. Yeah, I think Confidant has to go here. 
Swamp. Chrome Mox. And prints the ending. So they have a wasteland in hand. I think we're supposed to just play out our Weather Bloom and try to win next turn then. Gotcha! I play permanence. Two mana for a Dark Confidant. I could cycle the Veil here. They're choosing to not play the Wasteland. Okay, there they go. Um, yeah, no, no reason to cast the Veil. They are Hellbent. Let's win the game. Grab Basic Island. Your Wasteland is no good here. Chain of Smog. Alright, this should do it. We have assembled the AB combo. Our opponent sees the writing on the wall and they concede. Alright, we got our first game win. That's a huge first step. And now we just have to get one of the next two. We are facing a black deck. Black-white. Massacre is probably fine. I'm just going to board out a preordain and try this. Like, I think our entire main deck is set up to be pretty good against them, so let's just run it back. Okay, game number two. This hand's just incredibly slow. I don't think we're allowed to keep that. Sure. Um, bottom of the summoner's pack because we already have the Wither Bloom. We have turn one Veil of Summer 2. How lucky. How lucky. Marsh Flats. Scrubland. Eh, eh, eh. Veil of Summer. Ah, oh, Dark Ritual is not what we wanted. Alright. Draw. Lotus Petal. I think we just pass. Scrubland. Ah, uh, the second thought sees. So they're going to get our apprentice here. Alright, Brainstorm just became our best draw. You're a turn late, Vale. You're a turn late. Stoneforge Mystic, you got it. They pick up a Cauldra and they're passing the turn. Thought sees. Let's cast that. Let's try to slow down their uh, win here. We'll grab a Bayou. Seize your thoughts. That's a whole lot of removal and a Dothy Voidwalker. Let's take the Cauldra. Pass the turn. That's a Voidwalker. Let's cycle the Veil of Summer. So I can try to get to our combo. We know the rest of the cards in our opponent's hand, so I'm just going to try to use the cantrip to advance our own stuff. We'll take one down to 16. Draw. Okay. Uh, pass the turn. Really looking for a brainstorm. Ouch. Did they draw another piece of equipment? It's what would make sense for holding back Stoneforge. Okay. I mean, they still should have attacked with this one. There's nothing they could have gotten for one. Draw. So we have the smog. Pass the turn. Robert Confidant. You got it. If you're unaware, Dark Confidant is the player card for Bob Marr. Alright, so we take five, we go to eight. Running out of time here. Brainstorm. Dark Ritual number three. They reveal a scrubland. I think we're just dead. Yep. Alright, so we... Don't take actual lethal here, but we are dead to the jet. Ooh, they showed us red for Badlands. Okay. We're on the play for game number three. I'm just going to take the Massacre out and bring in a second copy of Safekeeper. 
I didn't see hate bear, so I just don't want to deal with uh, having the massacre. And they have a lot of removal in their deck, so safekeeper could end up being pretty good just having multiple copies. All right, so that took a while. I certainly think that I didn't click the submit button. My mic might have picked up me clicking. This seems solid. Yeah, let's definitely keep this. We're chain us manga way. All right, play the polluted delta. Grab the basic swamp, and let's cast Thoughtseize. We will take your copy of Thoughtseize. Uh, turn off auto yields. Oh, too slow. Okay. I, I probably should have played out the pedal. Yep, you have a deafening silence. Draw. Let's thought seize. Take the dark confidant. No point in playing out the uh, tropical here because it's just going to be destroyed by wasteland. Draw. Ooh. Getting basic number two is nice to see. Play the island. Preordain. Definitely getting rid of Dark Ritual. I think I want the Ponder. Pass the turn. Marsh Flats. You got it. Draw. Summon Respect doesn't do us a whole lot of good. Cast Ponder. There's the Smog. So I think we keep this, but it's a little bit weird. Definitely need to find a way to protect my combo, but this Summon Respect is not what I really want. They play the Wasteland. Draw. Let's ponder again. Looking for a Sylvan Safekeeper. This Thoughtseize is also pretty interesting. Guess we're keeping Thoughtseize. Hmm. I do have another Trop near the top of my deck, but I guess I can wait to play. I don't need to do anything this turn. Now they have five. There's a Void Walker. So now I'm discouraged from playing the Thought Seize because then they can Thought Seize me. Pass the turn. Well, I guess I could have played one Trop there. And now they're going to ending the pedal. Yep. They have four cards and we don't know any of them. Another wasteland. Draw. Hmm. Play pedal. This deafening silence is becoming a pain in the buns. I just need to find a safekeeper. So you might be thinking, why not just summoner's pack for the safekeeper, play it, and then try to win? I, I can't cast summoner's pack and chain of smog in the same turn. They're going to 17. So now we are going to 8. Okay, draw. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to just pass. Just hope that I draw one of the safekeepers, I guess. Two mana. Kaya. So they can exile my Lotus Petal here. Or just double ponder, I guess. And they're leaving open mana for swords. I go to five. I'm running out of time. Tapping for a white. What is this? Uh, they decided against it. Bummer. Bummer. Draw. Am I supposed to just jam?
Definitely a weird spot. But Dothy puts me to two next turn. I could Thought Seize, but then they can Thought Seize me back, and I can't win. Go to four, I guess. Is this an opposition agent? That would make me so happy. Please, opposition agent me. Please. Okay. Play the Apprentice. Tap for black. Chain of Smog. Well, the first copy resolves. We'll discard double Thoughtsies. Yes. They get our entire hand here. So we will discard everything, and then they can decide if they want to cast Source of Plowshares or not. And our opponent conceded. They never had it. Wow. Okay. We are one and one. I told you we were going to win all of them. I wish you would have just believed me. It would have been easier. But I'll see you in the third match. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match three, we're on the draw. This hand seems fine. Like we have the ponder to find wither bloom or a pact. I mean then we have everything else, so it's just a quality hand. Seed of the Synod into Mox Opal, so likely a cast. That's an emery. Mills Force. You'll love to see that. They bobble and reveal Tropical Island. Sure. Draw. Preordain. Let's search up Underground Sea so that way I can double cantrip next turn. Ouch. Thought Seas. Let's get rid of the Force. Pass the turn. Saga, you got it. Bobble, they can then replay Bobble off Emery. Okay, so they messed that up. I think they could have played Thought Monitor this turn. Because they could have had five, three. Yeah, they could have cast Thought Monitor. Yep. You got it. Auto yield to these. Draw. Lotus Petal. Let's start off with a Preordain, see if we can hit something good. Well, there's our Summoner's Pact. Let's keep that. Ponder. Hello. Is this what I want, though? I only have four mana next turn. Yeah, I think so. I'm like pretty greedy if I shuffle this, right? I mean, I can't use these cards if I want to go for it next turn. I'm just going to shuffle. Okay, so that means any discard spell I draw is now live. Ancient Tomb. Our opponent has played and activated a bobble. Okay. Thought Monitor, sure, they're up to four cards. Discard spell off the top rope. It's like a discard spell. But not one that we really want to target our opponent with. Dark Ritual. Summoner's Pact. Grab the Witherbloom Apprentice and let's cast it. 
two mana floating. So it has to be one of their two remaining copies of Force of Will here. Force of Negation does not get the job done. So I think it's pretty free for us to target them with the first copy of Chain of Smog. Because we have this backup. They discard two lands. Will they copy the chain? They shouldn't, but they could. Okay, and now we can cast this other Chain of Smog targeting us. Okay. Discard the land. Repeat the process. Same targets. And they did have Force Blue card. That's a bummer. Pass the turn. We have two copies of Chain of Smog in our deck. I don't love my odds here. Aether Spell Bomb. So even if I top deck the next copy of Chain of Vapor, I don't have a win. Pretty brutal. And I died in my own pact. I forgot about that. Yeah. Death. Okay, so we definitely want the Aether Flux. An Abrupt Decay. Let's board out the Limdols. And a Preordain. Try this out. Okay, next game, we're on the play. Unfortunately, I think that we can't keep this. Bummer, we're going to five. Kind of rough. Sure. Maybe it could have brought out the Safekeeper. Their deck isn't known for having a lot of removal. Probably would have been a little bit better. Underground. Oh, actually, I want it for the spell bomb because it does stop the spell bomb. All right, take the force pass. Seat. Lotus petal. Lotus petal. Emery. Kappa cannoneers and a mox opal. Sacrificing two Lotus Petals for a Thought Cast. You got it. Draw. Another Ponder. Let's cast them looking for, you know, the things that do stuff. Well, we're going to keep one of these. Okay, and then we'll cast Ponder looking for Dark Ritual. I mean, not necessarily, but it would give us a win on the following turn. I think that we keep this. Actually, I can't. This would have to be an underground sea for this to be a keep. That's unfortunate. Shuffle. Pass the turn. Ancient Tomb. Lotus Battle. Thought Cast. Sure. Okay, draw. Let's dress and preordain. Chalice of the Void. So they can play that next turn for two, which is pretty brutal. Preordain. Well, I found the decay, but I'm like really hungry for mana. And when they have an emery, they can just replay the chalice over and over. Yep. And now they get to play Chalice on two. You got it. I'm pretty sure I've just lost this game. Yes, I have the answer in my hand with Abrupt Decay. But the fact that they can replay the Chalice over and over, and in order for me to win this, I would have to blow up Chalice on their end step. Untap, have four mana into Witherbloom, Chain of Smog, and for my opponent to not have any interaction. Draw. Step one. All right, so I think we just have to hope to rip a mana source on my turn, so I'm going to blow up the chalice on their end step. Because if I wait one more turn, this saga gets spell, uh, Aether Spellbomb and I'm locked out of the game. 
You got it. Thought monitor, sure thing. Another thought monitor. So they have four cards. We know one of them is another copy of Emery. And then on our upkeep, they'll be able to draw another card with Bobble. Yep. Okay, let's blow up the Chalice. I have to rip a land here. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be a land. It could be a Lotus Petal or a Dark Ritual, but it has to be something that makes mana. Okay. Draw. We get to try to win the game here. Witherbloom Apprentice. Chain of Smog. They have five cards. Do you have it? They conceded. We got it. All right. We're going to game number three against Acast. I'm surprised we won that one. Just going to resubmit. Sure. Keep. Seat. Bobble. Lotus Petal. And Emery. Classic. Bobble again. All right, so they draw a card. We'll take our draw step for another copy of Underground Sea. Let's cast Ponder. Shuffle. Pass the turn. There's a Saga. And they're just passing. That's pretty interesting. I think that means that our opponent likely has some free counter magic in hand. Draw. Sure. All right, so Pack does find the Wither Bloom. Let's put back a Trop. I'm going to play the Safekeeper here. Just trying to keep things safe. So now they'll draw a card off Bobble. Saga goes up to two. Urza's Bobble. Still four cards in hand for the opponent. Thought cast up to five. The Bobble in play represents six. My best draw would be Dark Ritual, because if I drew Dark Ritual, I'd have Dark Ritual Thought Seize into the win. I've been bobbled. So they're actually going up to seven cards here. They just get to draw so many. I'm raising a one-sided howling mine. Another land. I'm gonna attempt to brainstorm here to see if I can fix this up at all. Ay ay ay, so many lands. Let's fetch. Grab another underground sea and let's play preordain. Is that Dark Ritual even good? So, I guess it does allow me to Thought Season to the win next turn. Hope that I draw into another discard spell. That would be the best thing for me. I have five more discard spells in my deck. They're activating for a Construct. The Cycled Spell Bomb. That's weird. Oh, I guess they can replay it with the Emery. Oh, they bounced it to my hand. Sorry. Um, chalice. Yep. They took so long on their decision that I started like looking at a Chrome tab on one of my other monitors because I got bored. Um, so, sorry about that. So now I can't protect my win. And they have six cards in hand. I don't even know if there's a Mishra's Bobble Trigger for this turn or not. But things are not looking good. And I'm priced into going for it now because if I don't, they'll have Spellbomb on their turn. 
So let's just do it. Cast uh, Summoner's Pact. Grab the Wither Bloom and play it. Tap, tap, and Chain of Smog. Okay, repeat, yes. They're just going to get my entire hand here, then counter it. Okay. And they had the petty theft. All right, I'm going to call it here. We are now one and two. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match number four. Let's see if we can get this one. That last round was a little bit brutal, I won't lie. Looking to bounce back here. We have a turn one Witherbloom Apprentice, and if we drew Chain of Smog, we even have a turn one win. That said, we don't really have the Chain of Smog here. Ooh, they're on Painter. So we could be dead very quickly. Draw. Okay, let's see what the Duress finds. Our opponent is a Goblins player typically, but it looks like they've switched sides to Painter Servant combo. And there's the Grindstone. Ooh, that lightning bolt's actually pretty brutal here. I'm going to take the lightning bolt past the turn. There's a couple of draws here that punish me, but they need four total mana, and their hand, as it was when I passed, only had three. Okay, so that cut off another ancient tomb from being live. And now we have to hope for the best. Yes! Heck yeah! All right, fetch, pitch, pitch, lotus petal, wither bloom, and let's get smoggy. Hiya. Discard the brainstorm, yes. Same targets, yes. And our opponent conceded. Woot woot! We got game one over Painter. That was sweet. All right. Um, I don't know if we're supposed to change anything here. Maybe take out the Limdols for Flusters? Let's try this out. You may be wondering, why is Flusterstorm good against an artifact combo? Well, you saw Lightning Bolt right there, but... More typically, Painter Servant combo plays a buttload of blast effects. So Red Elemental Blast, Pyroblast, they play a lot of those. And Fluster Storm can be used to break that up. Keep. Once again, deck, I am asking you for Chain of Smog. Turn one Great Furnace, okay. Flusta. We drew a Flusta. Like we're from Boston. If only this was a Panda, not a Preordain. All right, tap for black. Cast Thoughtseize. Let's take this Painter Servant, I guess. Or should I take the Goblin Engineer? I think the pick's actually Engineer here. So why is it Engineer? So if I discard the Painter Servant, they can play Engineer and then go get Grindstone, and then they have both halves with an Engineer in play. So over enough time, they'll have both. And I think that's just a little bit too much. Instead, I should just try to control them from having both. So they have Pyroblast, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, and One Unknown. Draw. Lotus Petal. Let's play your preordain. Okay, I like both of these. Let's play the duress. So the saga represents them having the win in a couple turns. So I think we're supposed to leave them with the fable. I'm actually kind of surprised that they didn't play the saga that turn. 
because they'd have the combo a turn earlier. So really, really surprised by that. And now here's Fable. Ouch. All right, so we're drawing the Preordain. We have the win here as long as I can Preordain into the Chain of Smog. We're going to bottom both of these. That is not a Chain of Smog. Okay, let's play the Apprentice. Pass the turn. So I am dead if I don't find the Chain of Smog on my turn. So they have to get to create a treasure. I will block. I'm at 13 and they have two cards. They're passing, so I get a chance here. Is it chain? It is not chain. And I am dead to this saga getting grindstone. Trinisphere Thorn. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, we're going to the next game. That was a tough one. Do I want to change anything? I could bring in Decays over the Flusters. I mean, it's a choice. Let's try it out. Game three, and we are on the play. I mean, this does the thing, so we're going to keep it. Point it with the mulligan to six. Basic Swamp. We'll play out a Lotus Petal, sack it for a green, and play our apprentice, our human druid friend. Mountain. Pass the turn. We saw Lightning Bolt, so I'm a little bit nervous about that, but I'm just going to peanut butter and jam here. Chain of Smog. They're not conceding. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Okay. And they had the Lightning Bolt. Bummer. I mean, I have to go for it there. Like, I, I can't imagine that they play four copies. And they would add Blood Moon to shut me off after that. I don't know. All right, we're one in three with one run left. Want early access to articles at theepicstorm.com? Become a member of our patron to get articles seven days early on top of other sweet benefits and help us pay our website team. You can sign up at patreon.com slash theepicstorm. The fifth and final round, we're on the play. Let's see if we can get this one. Sure. Keep. Okay, let's... Fetch up underground scene cast thought sees. Once upon a time, you got it. Glimmer post, okay. Sure. You have a Maya. Draw. Okay. Let's guess Ponder looking for the chain. Could keep the Limdolves, it's just really slow, so I'm going to shuffle. And because of the Yavamaya, I can just go fetch up a um, an Underground Sea here because it provides the green. Cast another Preordain. Let's bottom both of these. Pass the turn. Glimmer Post. Veil of Summer. Preordain. Bottom, bottom. Geez. Okay, let's just play out The Apprentice. I've seen a lot of cards at this point to not find Chain. Wasteland, okay. They destroy my underground sea, that's fine. Sure. Let's get 
tropical draw. How lucky we drew uh, a black source that we didn't need. Cast thoughts is. Thoughtsies resolves. Pretty far away from Primeval Titan. That said, the Reclamation Sage does actual nothing, so we will leave them with that. Hiya. I'm a beatdown deck. Glimmer Post. So we know what their draw step was. Draw. Alba Spirit Guide. Like I said, we're a beatdown deck. No, no, Alf, you don't get to go to the Exile Zone. You're going to the battlefield, I'm sorry. You may not be comfortable there, but it's where you belong. Let's go! Hiya! Glimmer Post gaining three. Uh, it's so broken, it's basically a time walk here. Uh, I misunderstood the post that they had in the hand. They didn't draw Cloud Post last turn, they had it. They drew Glimmer Post recently. And there's the Reclamation Sage. Draw. Bummer. So I could Summoner's Pact to go get another Wither Bloom, but there's like four cards on the bottom of my deck that I don't want. And if our opponent draws a Wasteland, I would just be dead. So I don't want to make that play. Instead, we'll attack for two with the Yellow Spirit Guide. Pass the turn. Uh oh. Is it green sun for six? I'm in trouble. I need to draw into Chain of Smog immediately. So my opponent gets the Dark Depths combo. And we have to draw into it right now. I guess I might have another turn, but I need to draw into it. That's a start. Ponder. Okay, let's take Ponder, and then I'm going to fetch and cast it. Ponder. Jeez, uh, I think I'm going to keep all of these. Pass the turn. Once upon a time. They pick up a Besaju. Looks like they're going to use it now. So they might be giving me a free shuffle effect here. Green Sun for three. I'm going to let that happen. I don't think they have anything like a Leovold in their main deck. Excavator, sure. You get to replay the Wasteland. Yep. And they're going to use the Besaju here. All right, I'm going to respond to this and cast Brainstorm. Okay. Brainstorm, do we find the chain? Of course not. We're in a lot of trouble here. Yep. Yes, grab the bayou. We're at 35 cards, so we're almost 50% of the way through our deck. And they'll attack with the Primeval Titan, and they'll get their trigger. We're going to end up at 10, and then we'll add two lands to the battlefield here. I have Ugin. Okay. Draw. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kind of ridiculous. They're going to be able to play Emrakul next turn. Green, black. Actually, I should tap the Bayou. Play with her bloom. Pass the turn. So Glimmer, the Cloud Post currently tap for four, but they if they attack with Primeval Titan first and get two more posts, then they tap for six. 
So I think if they attack first, they can activate I and have enough for the Emrakul, but I could be wrong. Sure. You have a Depths. Eight mana. They're activating Ibugan. And they grab the Emrakul. Attack with prime time. Glacial chasm. This does not prevent loss of life. So this doesn't actually matter. Okay. In our upkeep, because we're dead if we pass the turn, I'm going to thin our deck. Okay. Let's grab a spirit guide, I guess. Draw. Wow. Jax, I'm sorry, your deck hates me. I don't know how else to phrase it. I feel like I've been running cold the last few days. Might as well thought seize them for information. Dark Ritual. Let's go through our deck for another Wither Bloom Apprentice. Pitch it. Cast this. I can put them to two here, but that's it. Let's take the crop rotation, I guess. Yeah, I can put them to two. Maybe I should see if they pay life with the Glacial Chasm. And then we have a win. I mean, there's no chance that they pay here. But just in case we have lethal... Yeah, they were too smart for that. All right, I'm good to pick it up. I can't believe we lost this game. Like, truly flabbergasted. This should have been a W. 31 cards left in deck. Oh, geez. We need to get the Veil of Summers out of there. Um, guess we... Take flusters? I'm not even sure. I guess, like, they have needles that they board in, but, like, we don't even have anything other than the Sylvan Safekeeper for needle. At least fluster can counter once upon a time or crop rotation or mind break trap if they have it. I don't know. But that game was really, really defeating. Let's try it again. Sure. All right, polluted delta, fetch, underground sea, and let's. Hmm. I'm gonna thought seize. Why not? The needle does not matter. Let's take the map. I want to try to get our opponent with the crop rotation so that way i counter it and they just lose a land forest into reclaimer yep draw wonderful let's cast ponder there we go pass the turn they play a glimmer post Sure thing. Nope. Luster storm. Same targets. Ouch. Draw. We drew the lotus petal anyway. Dark ritual. So. I guess maybe I sequenced this wrong. I shouldn't have played the uh, the pedal. Because they are a deck that has Mind Break in it, so I could get punished here. Sylvan. Chain. Alright, it looks like we have it. I just have to finish winning. Okay. Not a big deal. Our opponent's making me click through it. It's fine. 
So the easiest way to do this is the one key is okay, the three key is yes, and then you just leave your mouse over your icon and you just rotate between the three. Game three. I will just resubmit. Sure, this hand's terrific. I guess we want to draw Dark Ritual. That would be our best draw. Dark Ritual would allow me to go turn one Thought Season to turn two win. They pick up a Cradle. You have a Maya Cradle of Growth, that is, not Guy's Cradle. Draw another Chain of Smog. Let's go grab the Basic to avoid Wasteland. Thought Seas. Warping Whale, huh? It's not very nice. Play out this Lotus Petal, pass the turn. Thespian Stage. Any green sun Zenith for one. You have a Reclaimer. So Elvish Spirit Guide, Dark Ritual, or a Lotus Petal all win the game. Ponder could if I ponder into Dark Ritual. Let's grab a Tropical. Cast Ponder. Let's Shuffle. Nope. Alright, I'm just going to play out the Wither Bloom here. Their deck doesn't have removal, it's fine. I've been besaged. Let's grab another tropical, I guess. Cavern. And a reclaimer. Okay, we should have it. Draw. Let's cast Chain of Smog. Discard, discard. Yes, same targets. Okay. Yes, same targets. Okay. This should do it. Clicky, click, click, click. And the opponent concedes. So we'll finish this league two and three, getting 50 play points back. Not quite our money back, but I'll take it. I feel like I had some bad variants this league a little bit. Like, there was quite a few games where we mulliganed. So, Jax, your deck list is obviously perfect. You go undefeated all the time. But my two cents is you probably want land number 16 somewhere in the deck. And I'd cut a Lindell's Vault. And I'm not sure if I'd make any other change. Like, if you want to play one Lindell's, I think that's fine. But I really think the deck wants the 16th land. You could also look at something like Mystic Sanctuary, which I know is a little bit out there. But you have enough islands to support it. You could get back Chain of Smog. Might be kind of nice. It's, I mean, it, this is a turbo deck, so maybe you don't want to play it. But having some redundancy with your fetch land seems nice to me. Just an idea. Everyone, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it, and keep storming. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.